Remember when I first started this organic vegetable garden, my main goal was to get fabulous tomatoes, something that had always not worked out for me. Um, I think last year when I planted them, there was so much vines, so much greenery, and no tomatoes, and I think I, it was too much water. So as you know, I planted, I built the um, space, I planted all the plants, and with the tomatoes, I put the one tablespoon of Epsom salt and some organic vegetable uh, fertilizer and uh, planted my tomatoes and wait till you see them. So exciting. It's starting to get a little crazy. This, uh, it's starting to overflow where they were all these sort of um, vertical cages, but now um, they're going crazy because uh, the garden nerd, who was the per person who advised me, she laid this out in the idea of one foot uh, sections and each one feet has a different plant. Come around here and see what's going on in here. It's just gone crazy. And the one thing I never did before uh, was um, fertilize every month. And that's what I've been doing now. So I put on my calendar and every 30 days I come out here and scratch like a tablespoon of the fertilizer into each plant. But look at these tomatoes now. I'm just beyond excited. Look at that. It's just gorgeous. Oh, it's just so thrilling. Um, and I, and I actually come out here and I eat the, um, the little colored ones that um, they get ripe, like this beautiful orange. These are so sweet and delicious. Uh, it's called, um, it's, called a, it's called a super sweet tomato. <laughs> that actually is something. But, oh my God, incredible, really. And um, here I have some big beef steaks that are on their way. Oh, uh, it's just, you can't, you, really, this is better than diamonds. I'm so excited. And there's some Romas down here. They're all in a big cluster down at the bottom. I have a Serrano chilies, um, jalapenos. Look at those jalapenos. Oh, look at this giant one. Can you see that? Um, I brought my oldest son out here in the garden the other day and I was showing him all this and he was so excited. He goes, oh, I, I love peppers. And I go, well, you want to try this? You want to be the first to eat a pepper out of the garden? And he ate a, um, he ate a habanero. And you know, when you cook with them or you do anything with them, you at least take the seeds out because they're less spicy. And he just like, this was so funny. Because he was over in the garden spitting it out, getting water, he was super spicy. So Peppers, um, parsnips, look at these, just crazy. Um, and um, then uh, over here we have carrots. I'm, I'm gonna do a little weeding as we talk here. Some carrots. And this is all on the drips that I laid out, you can see. So um, they just get the little drip. Can you see the drip line there? They just get the little drips. Um, and so the carrots, right now, they're still pretty little, but look at, ooh. So when I'm out here touring with uh, my kids, I'm always like, oh, eat this. You know, because Grandma Fox said you have to um, eat a bushel of dirt before you die. So we just rub off the dirt and eat the carrot. But, um, oh, there's one more little baby one. Oh, it's so cute. Um, and then this, are, these are beets right here. And these were the seed, the carrots and the beets were planted from seed. And here we have um, a baby watermelon, the little baby um, sugar watermelons, and um, cantaloupe here. And this giant thing that's turning into like the sea monster is um, the Big Mac pumpkin. So these are all um, these are all pumpkins here that are coming. And they say on the package that you're supposed to um, take off all of them and leave one pumpkin to get your Big Mac. Like maybe you can go to the World's Fair, you know, or the local county fair, and with your but I don't think I'm gonna be doing that. <laughs> I think I want a lot of pumpkins. And I planted some nasturtiums in there. If you know what a nasturtium is, I'll show you on the other side. But a little flower that helps keep bugs and things away Because also. these little flowers, these are the beginning of the plant, the flower. So you can see, like the pumpkins have more of a ball already, so these have a ways to go. I'm thinking more like August or something. Here's that pot fountain that everybody followed my journey of getting, but it's doing great. And um, these are my herbs. So I have Italian parsley here, some thyme. Um, this is a little um, little basil thing that's these little tiny leaves. And um, some sage. These are sunflowers, so these are super fun. Um, I have some tarragon, some oregano. 
Um, and this is kale that is like really needs to be harvested because it's getting it's gonna be six feet tall pretty soon. But I was getting um, all these little bug bug holes, and uh, somebody told me to put these uh, alyssum this alyssum flower, and that's um, helping to keep the bugs away. Back here, let me go down this path. Um, so this is a nasturtium, and this this is a trailing like a weed kind of plant, and that helps to keep the bugs away. And this is all that pumpkin; it's just going crazy. And my lettuce and spinach area is kind of um, on its way out. But this was so great, I would just come out here. I still, for a little bit more, um, just come out here and pull leaves um, instead of. I, I mean, my, it's just the two of us here, so um, for us to get through a whole head of lettuce is tough. And I hate throwing food out, so here I can just come get my six leaves and a couple spinach leaves and some. Uh, over here I have uh, Swiss chard and. Um, and make my salads and it's so fresh and it's it's great now see like this is starting to do what they call go to flower so that you have to get rid of that because that will be the end of the plant when you do that so I just pull that up same with the spinach but the spinach is kind of done I have to start over on the spinach um, here I have some um, cucumbers that I'm growing on the trellis and my daughter gave me this sweet little cultivate book so it's so cute but um, and these are so these are the little cucumbers all these flowers and you can see the little baby cucumber but they have these um, tentacles that wrap around things. Oh, this cucumber's getting pretty big. Look how big that one is. Whoa! That's crazy. And um, so these are growing up. So it's just less space. I can grow more things in less space. And um, then I have um, green onions here. So if you're making an omelet or something, you can just come out here. And well, you come out here and pull it out. So if I can't get it out. Oh. But normally you pull it out and you get the whole thing like this. So imagine it like that. But still, they're just beautiful. And um, this is my green beans. The only thing, this is kind of not a success, my beans. I'm not sure if I'm not watering it enough or what. But these are green beans. So I may have to work on this little part right here. And then I have mint in uh, pots because mint just takes over. In fact, I used to have mint in this area before. And you can see over here by, the, by my box, there's a mint pop-up because they'll just keep coming back. So it's better to grow mint in a, its own container. I have strawberries growing. My, this is my little strawberry patch. And more nasturtiums, and this is an orange tree. You know it's a cool this tree. This is a grafted tree. And this is so cool. In fact, somebody, I just met somebody at a party the other night that was telling me they had one of these also. And um, like right now there's just one orange on here, but you see these little guys? It gets limes, there's these little baby limes. It gets limes, oranges, lemons. It's the craziest thing, but it's great for small spaces because you can get everything in one uh, one tree. Uh, I have a lemon tree over here, and then these little um, oh, there's a little lemon. There's one. So they're just they're just starting up again, and um, I planted over here three uh, lime trees, and you can see I didn't plant them at the same time. But this is um, is going to be more of a hedge when it all kind of evens out. So I think that's the end of our garden tour today. We'll check back later, maybe in the summer when we have some red tomatoes. Exciting. Okay. Mm -hmm.